Modern universities are developing innovative new programs at an unprecedented rate. They arise because of new research discoveries, changing student priorities, socio-cultural change, and of course shifts in labor market demand and employer expectations. This week, trends in new university programs. Let's take 10 and take stock. The declining fertility rate across North America means that an increasing proportion of traditional age students are either immigrants or their children. Much like international students, many new Canadians and new Americans are focused on STEM fields and half as interested in traditional liberal arts and sciences. While applications to engineering and science programs rise, those to arts faculties are in decline, here in Ontario and in most jurisdictions. It's short-sighted anxiety about starting salaries, if you ask me, and one of these days we'll take an in-depth look at the plight of the humanities. Naturally, parents want only the best for their children, and many define the best as a career path in one of a few select, high-paying professions. That career myopia was satirized in this commercial for Ontario colleges. Okay, kids, can I have your attention? I'm gonna divide you up into three groups. You guys, up over by the knapsack, let's go. Group two, by this desk, let's go. Group three, over on the end. You kids are gonna grow up to be doctors. You, lawyers. And you, chartered accountants. Oh, man. Sure enough, when I asked university reps at the 2016 Ontario Universities Fair, what were the hot new programs this year? Many cited programs in these traditional professions, like accounting. Our accounting co-op is a very hot program. Master in accounting. Well, masters of actuarial science. On a planet where there's uh, more than 7 billion people and it's all about actuarial studies. Very, very important. Many undergrads are contemplating a future at law school. The new law school at Lakehead University is still attracting plenty of attention at the fair. Last year, Alan Wildeman told us about the University of Windsor's international partnership with the University of Detroit Mercy's law school. Our dual Juris Doctorate program with the University of Detroit Mercy where you can do a law degree and practice law in either Canada or the U.S. when you graduate. That's interesting, yeah. Tremendous growth in that program. International joint degrees have also allowed some primarily undergraduate universities with no law school of their own to begin offering direct entry law programs. I'm sure it's no coincidence that these programs also bolster enrollment in undergraduate art and science courses. Last year, Craig Chips told us about Wilfrid Laurier University's partnership with the University of Sussex in England. They would do their first two years of their undergrad at Laurier in their particular discipline. Then they head over the pond to the UK for three years and do their LLB law degree at the University of Sussex. Once they've completed that, they come back for one more year at Laurier where they'll be doing some prep courses to prepare for equivalency exams they'll have to write to have their UK law degree recognized in Canada. This year, Trent University has launched a similar joint law program with the University of Swansea in Wales. We have a, a new combined uh, BA or BSc with a law degree with Swansea University in Wales. Two years at Trent, then two years at Swansea, then another year back at Trent. And you'll be able to graduate with an honours bachelor's degree from Trent and with an LLB from Swansea University. Uh, there's a lot of interest in that program and we're excited about that program too. Of course, student interest in medicine and health-related careers remains high, and several universities have launched new programs in health or interdisciplinary health. Our uh, Faculty of Medicine, the Northern Ontario School of Medicine, based in, uh, in, in Thunder Bay, has uh, as well developed a whole new uh, set of uh, programs over the last two years. One Health is with the Schulich School of Medicine and Dentistry, as well as other faculties, science and social science, and it looks at um, how the environment and animals and and humans are all interrelated in how we impact each other. So we have a Bachelor of Health Sciences and that's for students that really want to start in the medical fields or veterinarian getting ready for uh, their, their, their professional degrees but at the same time understanding all the different dynamics in terms of the health sciences field so really broadens their perspective and gives them many different choices in the health field while preparing them either for vet school or med school at the same time. 
Western Integrated Science is also new. We offered it for the first time this September. It's a limited enrollment program. It's also integrated, interdisciplinary. So it's chemistry, biology, everything's all mixed in and some of the social sciences as well. OCAD University launched a Design for Health program this year that brings together all of the design disciplines with faculty who come from um, health and medical research, in the healthcare industries. And so this is a program to prepare designers to really be transformational agents within healthcare, both in systems design, you know, foresighting design thinking, and also in the very practical needs of the health world, both um, wellness, you know, outside of institutions, health in the home, and uh, aging populations, etc. So that, that's been a very exciting development for us. Interdisciplinary programs have been proliferating for years, partly out of a desire to advance research at the promising frontiers where traditional disciplines intersect, like quantum computing, genetic pharmacology, or nanotechnology. Looking at new degree programs approved in the past couple of years by Ontario's University Council on Quality Assurance, many are interdisciplinary in nature. Just at McMaster University this spring alone, three new interdisciplinary programs were approved. A new PhD in Communications, New Media and Cultural Studies combines three interdisciplinary fields. An Honours Bachelor of Commerce in Integrated Business and Humanities seeks to shape future business leaders who are 21st century problem solvers. Finally, a new honors BHSC in Health, Engineering Sciences and Entrepreneurship combines biomedical engineering and business. Engineering specialties are proliferating and student interest is growing, so new programs attract plenty of interest. A new bilingual engineering degree in mining engineering, mechanical engineering, chemical engineering, which is really drawing a lot of attention. Well, we have a new mechatronics program that's going like gangbusters, totally oversubscribed. It's a great thing. The Digital Futures program brings together computer science, engineering with all of the both current and next generation ways that we will live in the ubiquitous digital future. Nanomaterials, biomaterials, games design, a wearable technology and fashion design, data analytics, information visualization, the architecture of the future, like the hard skills of technology and business but through a creative lens. Some university presidents underscored the growing importance of professional accreditations. Students these days want uh, programs with professional designations. We also have a new international accreditation for our undergraduate Bachelor of Business Administration program with seven specializations. New criminology program building on the forensic science program that we have. We're one of two universities accredited outside the United States in uh, forensic science. International students are particularly concerned about industry designations, and they get litigious when those promised designations don't materialize. In a recent class action lawsuit against Toronto's George Brown College, more than 100 international students were awarded almost $3 million in damages because their international trade program did not deliver three industry designations which it appeared to have promised. At the same time as social critics worry that generations Y and Z are destined to become couch potatoes, some of this year's hot new programs are related to sports and kinesiology. Our biggest application pool this year uh, for the first time was sport management. Sports management. The uh, sports media program, which is relatively new, it's very really unique. It's the only program of its kind in Canada. And also a Bachelor of Commerce in Sports Administration. Bachelor of Physical Health Education with the new kinesiology masters very popular. Masters in Kinesiology around BPHE, it's exploding, exploding. A lot of people are interested in In a time of growing social pressures and uncertain private sector employment opportunities, students are turning their attention more and more to social work and related disciplines. Two programs that have attracted a lot of interest. One is a new social work program on our Durham campus. Uh, social work is increasingly popular. The Master of Public Health. And we've also introduced at the same campus a child and youth studies program. As well as a, the only, only one in Canada, PhD in child and youth studies. In recent years, students have begun applying across post-secondary sectors, to universities but also to colleges, technical institutes and polytechnics. The general public in Ontario believes that the best path to employment after high school is a combination of college and university education. In fact, almost half of BA graduates now go on to pursue further education, often at community colleges. While many universities are starting to see plateauing applications and enrollment, the University of Guelph-Humber has seen skyrocketing numbers. 
Guelph Humber, a collaboration between the University of Guelph and Humber College, offers students the opportunity to earn a four-year university degree and a two-year college diploma in a total of just four years. Last year, the Ontario government announced a new campus to be built in Markham along similar lines for the new University of York Seneca. As universities seek to offer more applied, career-relevant undergraduate degrees, and community colleges seek to inject more theoretical, degree-level learning into their programs, it's perhaps not surprising that we're seeing these two complementary types of institutions working together to offer collaborative, joint, or dual-degree programs. At last year's OOF, we heard about a new concurrent game development program being offered at Brock University and Niagara College. The hottest new program is the new interactive, interdisciplinary, multi-institution program in video game design. It's a joint program with Niagara College. Students take courses at Niagara, they take courses at Brock. We've been swamped all day with questions about that program. In fact, there now seem to be an overwhelming number of college-university collaborative degrees being launched. Just in the past two years in Ontario, there are dozens of examples. York University's Glendon campus has partnered with the E.M. Lyon Business School in France to offer a bilingual dual-degree program in international studies and business administration. Wilfrid Laurier University has partnered with Conestoga College to offer a new honors bachelor degree in user experience design. It combines a four-year bachelor of design, a graduate certificate in user experience, and a co-op term, all in just four years. McMaster University and Mohawk College are offering a Bachelor in Human Behavior combined with a college diploma in Early Childhood Ed or Autism and Behavioral Sciences. Carleton University and Algonquin College have partnered on a series of dual programs in information technology. So the students go to the Algonquin College campus and to Carleton at the same time. So they have a mix of theory and also practice in the labs at Algonquin College. So it really gives them the best of both worlds. In the dual photonics program, students earn a four year BIT in photonics and laser technology and a three-year college advanced diploma. Photonics is a field that students don't always understand so we're really promoting it and we're going to be looking at trying to explain to students what is coming up in photonics and where they can see themselves in that area. Queen's University and St. Lawrence College offer students seven years worth of credentials, a four-year Bachelor of Science and a three-year advanced diploma in biotechnology all in a new dual five-year program. This year we'll be admitting our first group of students to the Bachelor of Music Theatre program, which is a collaborative program with St. Lawrence College. So students will spend their first two years at St. Lawrence College and then be coming to Queen's in their, in their third year. In another five-year dual program, Queen's and St. Lawrence combine a Bachelor of Music with a diploma in music and digital media. Queen's has partnered with Northern College on a new Bachelor of Mining Engineering Technology program, which is largely delivered online with two field placements. So that's a quick rundown of trends in new university programs, at least based on a sample of the 20 universities in Ontario. Are you seeing similar trends in your region or different ones? Please take a moment to comment wherever you're watching this video. I'd really like to hear what you have to say. If you found this episode interesting or useful, please click like so we can tell. Next time I talk to presidents about how universities are evolving to serve the needs of the 21st century learner. So you don't miss it, please take a moment to subscribe on YouTube, iTunes, or by email. Subscribers to my free email newsletter will get exclusive early access to upcoming episodes. I hope to see you next time.